Well, cars or pedestrians, which should have the green light? The decades-long debate over blocking Pipe Place Market off to vehicles is back in the spotlight. And Maria Garcia has more on the fresh push to make the area more pedestrian friendly, as well as the Ave in the U District, Maria. Erin, you know the drill with this. These spots can feel so overwhelming to get through, you know, whether you're the one driving or the one walking. I've been both in this scenario. It is stressful. And this isn't a new issue. In fact, the debate over making Pike Place Market more pedestrian friendly specifically, that's been going on for a decade at this point. This fresh push to make Pike Place and the, the Ave in the U District, more pedestrian friendly. They are outlined in Mayor Bruce Harrell's transportation plan, but in expected fashion, not everybody's on board with this idea. In fact, newly elected city council member Bob Kettle very much against it. He argues that kicking vehicles out could be the death of the Seattle attraction. He is proposing an amendment that scraps this proposal from the mayor's plan. It's not some Disney project. It's not Hollywood. It's a real. It's a market. It's a business. It's already a vibrant, thriving place today. And what we see from around the world is that that's where you want to invest more in pedestrian spaces, not in a struggling street that's barely getting by. Okay, so there you also heard from Gordon Paddleford with Seattle Neighborhood Greenways, who says that making that area more walkable would only contribute to an ongoing su success and also says that, you know, delivery vehicles would also be able to access the area, just not your regular car. A decision does have to be made quickly here because the Seattle City Council has until the end of the month to adopt or reject the mayor's proposal.